Modern rigging. The rigging that we use to develop modern characters, characters that are going to need to be animated with quite a lot of versatility and quite a lot of complex deformation. Modern rigging is kind of a hack. It's something that very smart people have built on a foundation that was never really intended to support it. The rigs we create are brittle and they're slow, and they require a considerable amount of complexity to do even the most basic things, the thing every rig needs to do, and everyone knows this. But imagine rigging works differently. Imagine you could just draw down some bones, give them some simple information about the width of the limb, bind them, and then instantly get great deformation, almost perfect deformation right off the bat. Even common problem areas like the shoulder would work almost perfectly. Shoulder twisting and all of its attendant difficulties wouldn't be a problem. You could change one setting and instantly propagate twist up the arm. All of these things are possible thanks to Anzov and Rig Tools, a new paradigm for character rigging. Really, a character is a series of tubes. A character is a tube for an arm, a tube for a finger, a tube for a torso. If you can solve the deformation problems of deforming a long cylinder appropriately, and that always looks good, you've pretty much solved 90% of the problems of deforming a character. Every art bone is a spline curve, but more importantly, entire chains of bones can be curves. Which means that no matter what you're doing, that kind of power is always available to you. At any time, you can bend that thing, even if you didn't know originally that that's what you needed to do. Yeah, and we've devoted a lot of time to looking at the shapes that get made when you pull that curve into different configurations and making sure that it always makes nice, fair shapes. Yeah, the idea here is we really wanted to just do the right thing straight from the get-go. So one of the really nice things about it is, is that you really don't need to paint weights anywhere within an arm. You might have to paint some weights between the arm and the body, but because it's just one influence, there's no weight painting in there. Instead of painting a whole lot of weights, you have high level controls for adjusting the look of the joint as it bends. And we also have a fully integrated pose space deformer so you can sculpt precisely what you want the joint to look like. You can get a huge amount of control with very little effort. So, you know, features in a rig that before would take Many, many, many hours, if not days, for a rigger to set up using Maya standard tools can now be done practically in minutes. I've been rigging characters for production for about 14 years, and these are the tools that I always wished that I could have. Obviously, in any software project, there are places where you have to compromise. But one of the things we've really tried not to do is compromise in the places where it matters. It's been very important to us from the beginning that it works correctly, that it does the right thing which, suffice it to say, is a lot of work, but so far the results have been very promising. We're a fairly small animation studio, and we have to spend a lot of time doing things that pay the bills. We do work for higher animation, and we do other smaller um, software products, things like the Setup Machine and the Onion Skin Tool, and the Setup Machine Game Edition, which is coming up, and all of those things sort of have taken a lot of time away from the time that we really want to spend finishing up Ants of a Rig Tools and getting it into your hands. There's a lot more work that we need to do on it. The, uh, the Art Deformer actually really is pretty computationally expensive, so a lot of work has gone into optimizing it. And there's a lot more work that still needs to be done. If we had some funds that allowed us to concentrate just on releasing Ants of a Rig, Rig Tools for a while, we could have Brian and Tagore focus on essentially nothing else for a period of time. It would, it would make a huge difference in how quickly we can get it into your hands. We believe that Anthem and Rig Tools has the possibility to really change the way that people rig characters and to make the whole process sort of much more, not just user-friendly, but something that people could actually enjoy and, and be sort of an integrated and easy part of the process instead of the sort of monstrosity that it is now. And we hope that you'll be interested in helping us and that we'll be able to, in return, provide you with a product that you'll love using and it'll make all of your character animation and production easier.